In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make really easy book interiors on Canva. Hello Home Bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And I talk a lot about low content book publishing and in last week's video I showed you how to make a really easy book cover with Canva and today I'm going to show you how you can also make interiors really easily on Canva. So let's jump straight into my screen share and we have created a six by nine inch interior. So we've got our template ready and obviously you would make that in whatever size that you want your book to be. Those of you who have already made books, you know how to create your sizes for your interiors and for your covers. Those of you who are new at this, I have got videos that explain exactly how to size your interiors and your covers. And I will leave links to a video that explains all that. So this is how to make an interior once you know how to make your sizes. We've got a six by nine inch interior. And imagine if you wanted to just make a lined interior for a notebook. So the easiest way to do that is by going on elements here on the left hand side. And Canva has now a new line element. We click on this. So the easiest way to do it is to click on this line. And then you've got another set of functions up here. If we click on this one here, it's the weight of the line. So we could make the line thicker or thinner by moving this line weight. So we want to make it quite thin because this is a lined notebook. And we're going to stretch the line to fit the whole page and we move it up to the top and now we want to fill this page with more lines and all we have to do is duplicate this line a few times so now you can see that it's moving to the right that's not what we want all you have to do is highlight all of the lines go onto this button here position click on that and then you've got a button down here that says tidy up you click on that and this will tidy up all your lines so that you can move them to the center of your page. And then what we want to do is we want to make the whole page lined. So then we can highlight this again and duplicate this once more. And you can do that a few times until you have filled the whole page with lines. And then the other thing you can do is highlight everything again and just click the tidy up button again just to make sure that you've got everything completely lined up. If you want to make this whole page lined, then you just carry on doing that until you've got the whole page like that. But what if you want to add something else to this page? Maybe you want to add a space for doodles or for drawing. So you could have a rectangle here and you can just make it fit the page. So I like to give it a nice margin because these lines here can go right to the end of the page because they will just be cut off but this one because it's a rectangle you really want to keep it well within the borders well within the margins so that it doesn't get cut off and then all you have to do is change the color to maybe a gray because don't forget we're printing in black and white and gray is classed as a light black <laughs> if we can say that it's a shade of black basically so we need to make our low content books black and white if we want to keep the cost down. So this is one way that you could have lines and a box for some doodling or for some writing, or you could even put another box in there. And then what you can do is you can create a border that way. So if we put that here and now make this white, then you've created a little box and you can adjust this to make it perfect and that is another way of making an interior. You could make a children's activity book where they have to draw something in the box and then write a story and if you wanted these lines to have a border, a white border and be the same width as this rectangle then you could just use another rectangle on the side, make it line up with the rectangle you have here and then change the color to white. 
and then that makes the lines go in. You can duplicate this and put the same on this side. And now it looks completely different again. And if you wanted to, you could also have another one up here to make the lines start a little bit lower down. So you can easily make an interior with all different shapes and with lines and you could make a planner, you could make all sorts of things this way. So the line tool is really helpful when it comes to making interiors because you could make tables as well if you're making a planner or a logbook. And the other way to do it is to use templates. So let's go up here to templates, click on that, and now we can search templates. And for example, let's have a look at some planners. So we type in planners and you get quite a few planners here as an example. So always remember never ever to copy these, these templates as they are. You have to modify them and make them look different but we can do that easily. So let's get rid of all of this. Let's delete this all and then let's take one of these templates, for example. So now we have a daily planner. If you've got any templates that are in color, then make them grayscale because when you're printing your low content book in black and white, you really want to make this grayscale. So the quickest way to make this grayscale would be to click on where you can see color and then just choose a very light gray. Let's have a look if we can make it a little bit lighter. There we are. So now that's a lighter gray for us to be able to print it. Of course, what you have to do is change the template. So what I would do is I would change the font first of all. So you could have any font that you like. You just choose one that you like and that is different. The best thing would even be to change the words completely. So you could make this as a daily daily goals. You could call this daily goals as well. So it just needs to fit in with what's actually on the page. Then change all the fonts here as well. And that is then sufficiently um, modified for you to be able to print on Amazon KDP. And the other thing that you then have to do is add pages and make your planner that way. So this is if you want to make a planner, but let's see what else we could make. So I'm going to type in coloring pages and we've got some coloring pages here. So winter wear, this is very interesting. What's nice about this is that all of these can be changed. So the easiest way to change this template would be to just move them around and uh, change this font. Maybe even say it's cold. So we change the words as well and then the font we could make it this font. So it really depends on what you want to do. I would even go further than that. You can make some of them bigger. I would go further than that and mix and match some of the items so that it's really different because this is still very much like the original um, template. So it's a good idea to even add some things. So the other thing you can do is you can go on to elements and you can type in line drawings and you should get some line drawings that are suitable for for coloring books. So because we've got a winter theme here, we could type in winter line drawings. Let's see what comes up. And there we are. So what we could do is we could change some of these and let's put this little snowman here instead. So again, now this template is modified and it's different to the one we had originally. So this is one of the easiest ways you can create coloring pages for your activity book or for your coloring book. And I think the thing to remember is to make this very different to the original. So always compare when you finished your design, always compare what you've done with the original template so that it does look completely different. So always change the fonts and change the words, change the, the titles, whatever it is that's on there, make them different and also change the images. So take a few out and put something else in. And uh, you could even change the position of the text. 
so that it's somewhere else. The idea is just to make this very different to the original template that you started off with. But I mean, you can take your time and find some really nice line drawings and make your coloring book that way. And I would say this would be good for an activity book. So if you want to make an activity book and add some coloring pages, and then make other things as well. So you could then add a page and um, let's see if we can find any activities templates. So we're putting kids activities and um, I'm just going through the templates to see if I can find anything that we could add. There's an interesting one which is count and color. So I would use this but I would change the fonts and I would even change the type of animals so you could put your own animals in there and then children have to color in two of the dogs or two of whatever animals you place in there and that would make a really nice activity page so there's absolutely so much in canva that you can use so this one says it's free so we can use this one freely but of course always modify it because canva lets you use this for free but amazon has different rules altogether and the amazon rules say that this cannot be or the interior of your book cannot be freely available on the internet you have to make it unique basically you don't want to end up with the same interior as somebody else. So always change it as much as you can. So you can see these ones are different. That one here says Pro. So that's got a different license. It's not the same. And uh, you need to read the Canva license to see what you're allowed to do. But where it says free, as long as you uh, modify this, and by modifying, I mean change the font. So change this one to something else. And I would even try and change the words. So maybe type in color in the animals or something like that. So, you know, you can change this. You can um, think about this a little bit better. I'm doing this quickly just to show you. But you can really put a lot of thought and a lot of time into this to make a really good book. And that is one of the easiest ways to to make an activity book, for example, or to make a planner. As you can see, by using templates, there are so many things that you can you can do. Let's type in schedule and see what kind of templates they have. So there are schedules here, daily planners. It's more or less the same as a planner. Um, let's see if they've got something like a logbook. So there are reading logs you can use, and uh, this is so practical because you can really change them when you buy ready-made interiors from creative fabric or places like that you have to change them and sometimes it's not very easy because if you're using canva and they're designed on a different type of software it's sometimes difficult to upload them onto canva and then modify them but if they're already on canva it's so much easier remember to make them grayscale you can make them in color but then you have to think about the cost. It will cost a lot more to produce a book in color. So if you feel that you can price it at a higher price without losing customers, then that is something that you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this. You could see how easy it is to make an interior in Canva. I love Canva personally. I use it for everything. I use it for my social media for my books and for everything else my thumbnails everything so i really love canva i do use the canva pro because you just get so much more functionality but it's completely up to you you can also use the free version to start creating your low content books and if you've never created low content books before i leave you with a playlist that shows you all the steps that you need to take it walks you through the whole process very easy to follow and you could upload your first notebook onto amazon kdp and start selling so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again in my next video bye bye Thank you.